Hey, this is Sean from Pazer Images, and I'm making this tutorial during the holiday season for a couple reasons. One is because, you know, I would love a Evolution DVD from Andrew Kramer. So if anyone wants to, you know, don't- no, I'm just kidding, you don't have to. Um, I'm making this tutorial during the holiday season because I want to show you a cool trick you can do with After Effects if you're not comfortable or if you don't know how or if photoshop's not suited for the job anyways you're going to be learning how to make your pictures uh enhance them and add you know effects to them not movies but you can also work with other things in after effects what you need is uh i'm going to be turning this picture got off of like the internet somewhere into this and these are just samples i did Okay, now let's get started. Open up your After Effects. As you can see, I've imported three pictures. One's of a house. Another one is of a messed up yard. Another one is the sample picture. We'll take the house one, just for the sake of the tutorial. Move it in the new comp icon, and you'll have the composition. Now, to get started, this is a easy technique. Control D while you have it selected, or Control Duplicate, it's the same thing. So you, now you have two of the same picture. You know, two, you can move it around just to prove to you. Go on the top one, go Blending Mode, and change it to Overlay. And all, immediately you see the effects of that. So we just turn off, on, off, on, off, you know. Okay. So not exactly the look we're still looking for so how about we give it some coloring changes let's go to curves um, you can bring up the RGB up a little bit for a lighter picture or down for a darker one or if you want to just bring the highlights out I turn it a little down mm, since it's the holiday season let's go with a blue nice blue the blue channel bring the little curve up how about bringing out some of the greens in this Christmas trees turning up the channel a little bit but not too much because we don't want to bring out that. we're just doing this to bring out the lights now let's go to the red channel and bring it out those reds Christmas reds and by doing this we've actually made the picture brighter which we're not exactly looking for but okay now let's add some glow to it stylize glow you'll see that it's like popping at you now might want to turn the radius up to like 50 60 70 60 will do fine for me it's too bright way too bright now you can turn the intensity of the glow down by changing this from 1 to like 0.25 and you'll see that it works so if we turn this off immediately you see you add spirit to your picture this would make a great holiday card just saying now if you want to change the overall coloring mood you take the bottom layer and you do effect color correction mm, you can do hue and saturation for a little simpler colorize it and change this to a bluish color. I'm going for it. Right here. Maybe turn this up a little bit. Or turn it down. No. Uh, just play around with the settings. I can't guarantee whatever because of your picture. Turn the light negative 30 and you see you have this this is the overlay this is the coloring change so now you have this Christmassy sort of not really light thing I still want to retain the colors so maybe I'll duplicate this again 
take the top layer, control D. This time, take out the glow. And play around with the settings some more. Maybe. You know, I'm on a darkened scene, but I still. I still have to have my essential glow from the lights. That's what makes it Christmassy. Now, so that, I think I'm pretty much done twinkling with this picture. I'll add a little more later, but. Mm, let's add some snow. Yay! I actually like the snow. I like half of the other worlds who like the sun. Eh. Guess I'm depressing. Hmm. I don't really care. Okay, white solid, make comp size. Let's do. Uh. CC particle. Particle world. This is included in your After Effects, so, you know, sort of should have it. Uh, you might want to move this to, like, at least two seconds. Now we'll start playing with the particles. You want to turn the graph to off. Uh, let's play with the fizz producer. You want to move it up mm, above the picture. You wanna? Um, I think I can leave it to explosive. Change this. Um, the best would be a faded spear. Just change the birth color to white, and the death color. I think I can give it a little blue tint. So, very very light blue, and look at that. Perfect. Um. Uh, we have a problem. Most of these aren't hitting the ground fast enough. You might want to turn the longevity to three seconds. Yeah, three seconds will do fine. And instantly you see that there's more now. But I'm not completely satisfied yet. How about we make this look better with radius Z. I'm going to move that up a little. Change the birth rate to 5. I know it's cluttered, but mm, it's sort of what snow looks like. Uh, let's change it to 8. The more the merrier. Okay, uh, radius to Z. want to spread that out some. Radius Y. Might want to do that. Anyways, you really just want to separate them all. And you'll get this snow effect. If you don't like it at the current frame, you want to move back some. Okay, I like this frame. It um, brings out the holiday spirit. Alright, one more thing to finish. How do you get your image from After Effects to Photoshop? Well, that's very simple. You can download a plugin that's free from Obvious Effects, www.obviousfx.com. It's called Copy Image. It's free, and you just download it and install it. Um, and this is what you'd be able to do. While you're in your home position, go to Edit, and you'll find this button, Copy Image. You click on it. Uh, you can o open up Photoshop. You open up Photoshop, and once you have the image copied, new, it'll ob automatically have the sizes right. Just control V or paste it, and there you go. All you have to do now is save. Save your image. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Um, keep checking, keep checking back, and don't forget to visit our website at www.tazer.co.nr. I'm Sean from Taser Images. Have a nice holiday.